What's up, everyone? Paper Thin here again as we wrap up stage one of VCT Korea. The grand final saw DRX take on Onslayers for a spot in Masters Reykjavik. This is Play for Time. We'll take a look at the intense best of fives that concluded our first season of 2022. On Saturday, Onslayers first had to battle Mad Lad Upstart's Holy Moly. Holy Moly came out swinging on Haven, but quickly lost momentum as the day went on. Superstar duelist Batsy went on a tear on Ascent and Bind, and Onslayers grabbed their ticket to the finals, winning 3-0 over Holy Moly. Then it was the highly anticipated grand finals of DRX versus Onslayers. We started the match on Haven once again, and it was an intense back and forth battle. DRX came out strong on their attacker side, pushing the tempo and finding weaknesses in Onslayer's defense. Buzz and RB were doing a great job on executes and unlocking down sites post plant. And it was DRX who was up nine to three at the half. But Batsy and King and company held the line for Onslayer's and sent the map to overtime, but failed to get the win, putting DRX up one to nothing. The day was starting off with Onslayers and DRX looking very evenly matched and focused on Iceland, but that wouldn't last long. Next up was Fracture, a map yet to be played in 2022 by DRX, but it quickly became apparent they were plenty prepared. Mako and DRX were on fire on their attacker's side and quickly dispatched on Slayers on Fracture. Fracture was a prelude to Ascent for DRX, who went on to dominate and win 3-0, making it a clean sweep and sending them to Masters 1 in Iceland. After everything was said and done, it was the top-seeded team DRX who took Stage 1. But our Stage 1 playoffs saw so many great plays and upsets. WGS was two rounds from taking DRX in their first match. Then, holy moly sparked fear in every team in the tournament on their Dark Horse run. Onslayers also looked strong in their debut season as a team. Our fearless player of the week was DRX's Buzz. Buzz shifted over to a new role this season for his team. A standout Jet player in 2021, Buzz has now slotted in as a sentinel and occasional controller main for DRX. However, he has still been putting up big numbers this year. Versus on Slayers in the Grand Finals, Buzz was doing a great job pushing sites with RB and setting up for post plants, both on and off the site. Haven in particular, Buzz piloted Killjoy and played a crucial role in DRX's overtime win, boasting the top kills to death, the most first bloods, eight multi-kill rounds, and some big time clutches. He continued his strong performances with Chamber on Fracture and then back to Killjoy for Ascent. In stage one, Buzz showed tremendous versatility and adaptability, picking up Chamber, Killjoy, Astra, Omen, and Brimstone and consistently performed at a high level. Buzz should be a player to watch out for at Iceland. Let's take a look at Buzz's stats in the Grand Finals. While Buzz may not have had the best ACS overall, he played a key role in DRX's victory on Haven and helped propel them to a 3-0 sweep of on Slayers. Buzz also shut down Batsy, going 14-8 against him head-to-head. -head. Our fearless player for all of Stage 1 was Dom Juan Kia's Exe. Exe was voted MAP MVP more than any other player throughout the entirety of our opening stage of the year. And despite his team coming up short in the playoff, he certainly had a season to be proud of. Exe moved over to Dom Juan Kia this year from the now defunct TNL. Exe has consistently been one of the standout players in Korea throughout his career and is well known for his use of flashes and his flashy play. Exe was asked to pilot both initiators and sentinels for his team during stage one, but was especially strong on Sky and Breach early in the group stage. Also, with Dom Juan Kia's dynamite jet player Texture dealing with illness early in the season, Exe played a key role for his team. Top fragging in the matches Texture had to miss and giving them some key victories on their road to a third place finish in the group stage. While it was a disappointing result for him and his team, Exe showed us he is still a force to be reckoned with, 
and why fans give him the nickname Sexy Exy. Make sure to check out Masters 1 in Iceland in early April, and then VCT Korea Stage 2 will be soon to follow. And be sure to check out ValorantEsports.com to stay up to date on all the VCT action. Thank you so much everyone for watching this season of Play for Time.